Hello again! Today I'm going to show you two command block based systems to count votes, for example for your maps or wherever you want to use it. And to test it I have this local group of creepers who volunteer to help me out. I can randomize them, place them on different pressure plates. Uh, each pressure plate here represents one vote. One, two, three and four. This is only for demonstration purposes of course. The systems I'm about to show you can be used for less or more different choices. And I want to make the start with a system to count simple majorities, which is over there. When I press this button, you can see some stuff happening here and we get the output 4, because currently most mobs stand on pressure plate 4. So you already saw how this works, but still let's have a closer look. At first we will summon in a chicken on this gold block here. And we will also activate, using this command here, all those command blocks above. And I should mention that this system is meant to handle 12 different choices and not only 4, so you can cut this whole part here out and it still works pretty fine. The command blocks above here will summon in items. Uh, I use chicken spawn eggs, just because. And the clue is that they not spawn in one single item, but as many items as there were entities that voted for year 1. Or here, entities that voted for 2. Or 3. And of course, in your map, you probably want to use an at A command instead of at E. And the result will be that on each of those pressure plates, there will be a number of items according to the votes it got. And also, when we summon in the items, we will activate this command block clock here, which will do two things. One, we activate, using this command block down here, all the command blocks in the back. And each of those command blocks will delete one item of their own pressure plate. So in each tick, we, remo we will remove one item of each of those pressure plates, until at some point there will be only one item left on the, in the complete area here. And that item will be at the position which got the most votes. And to detect that we have a second command, which will teleport our chicken, we spawned in in the beginning, to all the items that are in the area here. That normally does not work, because if there are more than two possible targets, the entity can't be teleported. But the moment we only have one item left here, the chicken will get teleported to it, and activating the pressure plate so we get redstone signal, which I use in these say command blocks. Also we have a last command block on the back here with a test for command, which just look, looks if there are still any items left, and if there are no items left, it will reset the system. And that's how this works. Not too complicated, it has a few drawbacks of course, it uses a lot of command blocks and it uses a clock so it might take a few ticks, but as long as you don't have more than 30 players, it still should work in about 2 seconds. So I'm fine with it, maybe you are too. And now let's have a look at the second system over there. When I press this button here, nothing really will happen, and that's because this system tracks absolute majorities. And currently we only have a simple majority for this pressure plate number 4 here. To get an absolute majority we need more than 50% of the votes. That means for 10 creepers we need at least 6 votes for one pressure plate. So let's press this button a few times. And there we go. We now have 6 creepers on pressure plate 3. That means this pressure plate has an absolute majority. And if I press that button over here again, I will get an output for pressure plate number 3. So how does it work? Well at first I use a fill command to fill in command blocks in this area above here. And due to the nature of the fill command, the command blocks will still get activated in one specific order, namely starting over here, then going down the line, and this row will get activated starting here to there, and then this row here. So the first command that will get activated or used is this one here, which sets the value for vote choices for each player currently tracked by the scoreboard system to zero. This asterisk here, that makes sure that every player that is currently tracked by the scoreboard system gets the new value. Then over here, we will remove points from all players currently tracked by the scoreboard system for vote choices. And we will remove one point for each vote that we got in total. We have currently 10 creepers voting, so 10 votes. That means we remove 10 points from each player. Each player now, after this command, has minus 10 points for 10 creepers. 
in this role, we will then add points again. And we do that for fake players. This fake player is called choice A. This play fake player is called choice B. And they count votes for pressure plate number one, or for pressure plate number two, or choice C counts the votes for pressure plate number three, and so on. And we count the votes by adding two points for each creeper that has voted for this choice, this pressure plate. So each creeper on pressure plate one will add two points to choice A. And each creeper on pressure plate number three will add two points to choice C. And if you do the math now, that means that if a pressure plate, if one of those choices has more than 50% of the votes, it will receive in the end a value higher than zero. And that's what we track in these command blocks in front, in the last stage. We just test if the fake players, choice A, B, C, or D, have at least one point in vote choices. And that only happens for pressure plate number three here, because it's the only one with a majority of votes, an absolute majority. Pretty simple setup actually, pretty fast, and doesn't use a lot of command blocks. And yeah, that's it already. Two systems, one for simple and one for absolute majority to count votes. If you want to use it, just download it in the description below. Also, I've made sure to use only relative coordinates for these systems, so you can copy them to your own world if you need to. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.